Warm summer weather and the 4th of July weekend calls for food on the grill and fun with family and, of course, cocktails. Grey Goose brand ambassador, Emil Chayot. Chayot? Chayot. 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 Got, Got it right. Hey, I, you know what? I've <laughs> been practicing this so long. He joins us now to make summer cocktails perfect for the upcoming weekend. Emil, thank you for coming in and sharing oh. with us. And I was asking, I did not realize that Doucet is actually a brand associated with Grey Goose. Absolutely. So those two brands are actually part of the Bacardi portfolio. Oh. So Bacardi owns Grey Goose, Doucet and many other brands, many other great brands to make delicious cocktails. All right, Amazing. and you're making us two cocktails today. Today we make two cocktails. So we're going to be focusing on a Ducé cocktail, cognac cocktail, and we're going to be focusing on a Grey Goose cocktail made with Grey Goose Lapoire, which is pretty much the star of the show. And especially that cocktail, you're going to be able to find it at a place called Offshore, which is on Navy Pier in Chicago, uh -huh. because we are doing a patio takeover for two months Ooh, with wow. them. So some of those cocktails are featured amongst other cocktails that we are doing with them, but especially being able to enjoy the Parasite Sound. Okay. All right. So let's so get let's started. Start. Yeah. Let's start. Okay. So we're going to start with the Juicy cocktail. Mm -hmm. So Juicy, cognac brand, delicious brand, and definitely we're going to be making something that is light and refreshing. I was getting ready to say, when I think cognac, I don't really think light. I think more of, let me get a cigar, let me go sit around the fire. And that's true too, but if we think also about cognac, cognac is actually very warm and rich, but has some sort of versatility. Okay. So what we're going to be doing today, especially with Juicy, the cellar master, actually the way how she blends the cognac, wants to make something nice, fresh, and elegant. So with Juicy, what we're going to be getting, we're going to be getting those nice notes of fresh grapes, okay. but also the aging the impact of the barrel that we get when we age cognac. Okay. It's interesting because I feel like I'm always a little intimidated by cognac, but this is you, this feels approachable, what you're doing. Oh, trust me. Hopefully when you're going to try it, you're going to love it. Yeah, mm -hmm. that's true. So what I'm going to be doing, I'm going to be pouring an ounce and a half of Ducé, okay. the SOP. So those eau de vie been aged for close to four and a half years mm. in humid and dry cellar. And wow. after that, the maître de chez, what she's going to be doing, she's going to be blending them the perfect way to get the right balance. Okay, and then what's next? So next, we're going to be having some lemonade. Oh, so two ounces that's of lemonade. refreshing. I was going to say, that makes Very it refreshing, nice. yeah. yeah. So okay. tell us about these takeovers. What takes place at the takeovers? So pretty much we are working with Offshore and we're working with different partners. So what we are doing, we're going to be having a violinist, we're going to be having uh, an electric uh, violinist, a, a DJ, Ooh. depends on the performer. And based on that, we're going to be bringing the vibe with Grey Goose. We're going to have a photo booth. We're going to have different kind of goodies or giveaways that's going to be given to the guests. Mm -hmm. So that's a perfect way to really enjoy and get into the vibe of Grey Goose. Ooh, no, we don't have the Martini or Rossi. <laughs> martini and Rossi. So yeah, there it is. So Prosecco. Prosecco, interesting. Because this one, the Grey Goose, oh, sorry, the Juicy Lemonade Spritz, it's perfect to be enjoyed either as a long drink uh -huh. or either in a wine glass uh -huh. or either in a rocks glass. So uh -huh. depends on how you want it. If you want it a little bit stronger or a little bit lighter, Okay. both of them works perfectly. So two ounces of Prosecco. Two ounces of Prosecco okay. right there. Perfect. Okay. I love this. And what I I'm see now be what doing, you're talking about when, it, when you say refreshing. Mm -hmm. it's, it's now, this is giving summer for sure. Absolutely, then just to, a lemon stir, I'm going to top it up with ice and I'm going to garnish it with a nice lemon wheel. All right. Oh, wow, very wait nice. Try this. Right there. Can't wait to try this. And this is one of the offerings that we'll be able to find at the takeover? So this one is not at the takeover. This is pretty much like bringing the vibe with you say for mm -hmm. the summer. Mm -hmm. But the other one, you're going to be able to find it. All right. Now tell us a little bit about that. So the second Ooh. one, mm -hmm. the Paradise Fund, is going to be mixing Grey Goose Lapoire. So Grey Goose, the star of the show, uh, we're using French winter wheat to make Grey Goose, so it's 100% French vodka. Oh. Winter wheat from Picardy. Picardy is kind of the bread basket. So if you have tried some sort of the baguette, chocolate croissant, pain au chocolat, everything of that comes from the French heritage. And we're using oh. the exact same wheat. So that's what it makes the taste and the quality of Grey Goose out of it. Okay. All right. All so right. for this one, I'm actually going to be using my shaker. Okay. So what I'm going to be doing, I'm going to be adding ice into it. And I like using that quality ice. So 
I'm actually working with a partner that is called Query Ice, mm -hmm. and they have that very clear ice, very draft mm -hmm. ice, which is perfect to shake or actually to be used in a cocktail. So for this one, I'm using those yes. nice, like 1.8 inch ice cube. So that's going to be perfect. It's going to have a slow melt, mm -hmm. and this is great to present an elegant cocktail. And I'm noticing that you're, you're putting the ice in and letting it sit there. Do you recommend people do that when they're making this cocktail? Yeah, so what I've been doing, so, so that one has a slow melt, so that's why you can do that if you're using that draft ice mm. or that cold uh, slow melt ice. But sometimes if you have a, an ice that it's kind of like, I won't say the best quality, it's probably not the best because it's going to melt water very it down. too fast and water Short down the drain. Okay. Mm -hmm. Correct. Right. So, that's why, so that's why even on, on this one, what I can do, I can shake it, I can let it sit for a little. It's just going to bring me the exact dilution that I want. All right. Okay. Good tip. So let's go on it. So we're going to be doing an ounce and a half of Grey Goose La Poire. Okay. So on our Grey Goose La Poire, actually, we are using pear from Anjou. Mm. Anjou is a region in France, and those pears have been growing from generation over there. Okay. So that's pretty much the perfect destination, like to get those pears, and it's only natural ingredients in it. Okay, forgive me. Salt or sugar on the rim there? Salt, Salt. right there. Okay. Okay. You so never on know. this one, then after that, so lime juice. Okay. So it's uh, an ounce of lime juice. So I'm going to be doing. So we're doubling the recipe. Use, so I'm doubling okay. it. Okay. Got it. Right there. Then a little bit of agave syrup. Okay. So half of an ounce. We don't want it too sweet. Mm mm. Hmm. So just one ounce of I remember hearing before that Grey Goose was made from grapes, but that's obviously not true. Ah, so we heard about that, the connotation about grapes. Pretty much where that comes from, the maître de chez, the person that actually crafted the liquid from Grey Goose, was a previous maître de chez, so was making cognac. Oh. So the whole inspiration oh. came from him being from cognac, so that's why there was always that perception about Grey Goose being made in Korea. Yeah. However, our wheat come from Picardy, which is in the north of Paris, mm -hmm. but we blend it in cognac. Got it. Okay. So All right. we use the water from cognac, actually. Got it. That's where so that rumor came what. from. All right. Let's do it. Let's, Let's do, do it. it. Let's do it. Let's shake it. I love this shake. I, yeah. I mean, I'm just a professional that, 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 right there. That, 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 circular, too. Yeah. <laughs> ah, there we go. Get it, get it, get it. Oh, it's amazing. That is awesome. I'm always there afraid I'm going to spill it when I do that. Yeah. So out. usually what I do to air it a little bit more, I'm just going to pour it back into the shaker. So Ooh. make sure that you have... A very the, aerated drink. Yeah, oh, beautiful. beautiful. It's very good. All right. Emil, thank you so much. Ducey.com is where you can find more information as well as Grey Goops. Dot com. Delicious. And the takeovers are on July 4th and July 14th, which you told us is Absolutely. Bastille Day, which is France's Independence Day, correct? Absolutely. Mm. So 4th of July and 14th of July, we're going to be celebrating Bastille Day or French Independence Day. So don't hesitate Real to good. join us. This is the perfect cocktail if you like something like not too rich yes. and have, it have some sort of those flavors with the salt. Just perfect. bring that nice touch. Awesome, right. Emil. Thank, thank you so much. Pleasure. All right. Thank All you right. very much.